Coming to you straight from the Thunderdome in Center Amplis, Force, Minnesota. We're ready for a good game of MFL football, but we're here with a team that literally eats their opponents, so we may have to sell for carnage instead. Hey, that's what they paid for, Grim. I'm pretty sure they're okay with that. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's gonna have it all. The Midway Mutants battle. The Purple Mutant Eaters. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Yo, man, nobody can touch you an eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? <laughs> it's time to turn on, tune in, and get your mutant buzz on. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitro here. It's MFL game day, and you know what that means. Yeah, the town will be in flames tonight, and half the city's population will be sliding down greased street poles and eating all-you-can-eat horseship buffets from the curb. Yes, victory can be bittersweet sometimes, Bricks. Let's see if the home team can light up this town like a Roman candle. And it's first and ten. <laughs> The ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong Il. And then a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. <laughs> and they stack the line and he gets his bell rung for a yard. Second down and nine. <laughs> The defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick, and the quarterback is in a shitload of trouble. <laughs> He's trying to throw the ball, but it keeps coming back to him. Third down and long. That's a gain of seven yards on the catch. Nicely done. They get ready for the kick. This isn't a gimme. It's good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. And the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not going to take it anymore. First down in a mile. Oh, oh, oh. That gets me every time. Like a jack in a box, Bricks. You never know when one of those hot potatoes is going to blow. You just crap your pants, Junior. And it's first and ten. And he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. Second down and two. Oh, 
with the brutal hit. First down to seven. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have on several occasions. Not surprising. Multiple times on each occasion. Not surprising. And trust me, that hit was worse. that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sinners then. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. <laughs> the teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. moose right now oh that was a big hit hey bricks i bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career ah uh, let's see about a quarter after three grim but my watch is a bit slow and it's first and ten <laughs> after the game. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Picks up maybe four on that play. Second down and six. Hot. Hot one. I personally think that the ginormous guy is compensating for something, but I won't be the one to tell him. warming up and he just wrestles away from that tackle that pass was good for 10 yards and the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt his knitting is superb grin that cross stitching unbelievable They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Graham. You're right. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off season. And it's first and ten. That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Second and three. Oh, mama, he just 
just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. Steps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And that'll bring up third down and seven. somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. Void rage. Because if you can't answer your question with violence, ask him. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it too. Second down and ten. from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self-doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. I'm a house killer and kill him. I am a killer and kill him. And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> and it's first and ten. <laughs> Man, what a hit that was! Second down, the size of Bricks Wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. Hey, man, I was here on the channel now. You know what happened? Third down and, well, good luck. There was an explosion, but everyone's walking away from it. Them cool guys always walk away from explosions. Hey, that might be good for the movies, but it's awful for the MFL. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. My friends, was an all pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. And that player just transformed into a giant. Good luck blocking this guy. Man, guys like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. And it's first and ten. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. Ball man about a six yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my pro officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. Quarterback.
threads the needle for a first down. And the two-minute warning sounds. Time to get a beer. Hey, get me one, too. And it's first and ten. And the rumor is going crazy fast. Look at the path he's taking. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. <laughs> okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double-stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. <laughs> and it's first and ten. One in for the first down. And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, three. Well, he just heard footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a peck ahead. Catch the ball, asshole. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two. Eight. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You got to keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You got to make that catch. Third down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Eight. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. Any field goals over 40 yards are difficult. He's going to really have to boom this one. He's got the distance, and the kick is good. Ah, that's not fair. So much you call a penalty on this ref. Yeah, the death penalty. Hang him by the nuts. Oh, we have it. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. Rainbow. He's got the ball now and is going to try and score. Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, he should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's first and ten. And the defense gets up five yards there. Second down and five. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Welcome back. Hope you enjoyed the carnage during today's halftime show. 
Obviously, they need to play a lot harder here in the second half to make a game of it. Or they can start cheating and killing. That's what I'd do. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. down to keep the drive alive. And it's first and ten. They weren't even on the same page on that play. Second down and ten. He's not going down. And he rumbles for nine on that play. And that'll bring him third and one. First and ten. A mix of tiger blood, shark blood, and internet comments. Talk about Butterfingers, he should have had that one. Second down and ten. Shave a few days off his life. Third and two. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. If you think his dancing is bad, you should have been here in the old days. He used to mark their territory the old fashioned way. But they agreed to dial it down to uh, interpretive dance. I took an interpretive dance class with a werewolf once, Brim. He damn near clawed my face off. That was before the class even started. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Well, that's a real buzzkill. Oh, what a great defensive 
play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. The kicker died on that play. And that's terrible. Now what do they do? Well, another player will assume the kicking role for the remainder of the game. The coach is praying he won't need a long field goal to win this one. First down and one. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. And that'll bring up second and one. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And it's first and ten. Caught for the first down. And it's first and ten. Defense better watch out. And that's how you get your buzz on in the NFL. Two fists into this bottle of scotch. And he bursts into the end zone for the score. What a run. Why is it that no one can score in this league without showboating? Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. And they pull a one speed dirty trick. This play is usually good for a quick score because he finds open space and running toward the end zone. Turn on your jet, you son of a bitch. Mistakes here, just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. The kick is good. And as expected, those are pretty much just guineas. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Oh, great tackle! 
When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. And it's first and ten. And he catches it for six yards. Good mitts on that play, Bricks. His fingers are like a bunch of sausages. And that'll be second down and four. One. Oh, great throw! Great catch! And that puts six points on the board. The defense could do anything. From bribing the refs, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some days. And here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. Looks like they're lined up for an onside kick. That's the end of the third quarter. And look, folks, I'll be honest, I don't see a chance in hell here. It might be time to change the channel. I think Heidi's playing on Superstation WKRP. And it's first and ten. a nice run for a first down. And it's first and ten. Second down and long. A nice chunk of yards on that pass play. And that'll bring up third and one. And the defense just called the ginormous dirty trick. His big ass will probably fumble. You gotta protect the ball better than that. Oh, that's huge. Oh, he just got crushed. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. And Lynn Katz will give them a first down. I don't know if they're his, but he sure has a good set of hands. And he held on to that one for a first down. And it's first and ten. and he picks up a new set of downs. And it's first and ten. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Missed a beat for Bray Graham with a ball and didn't fall down. points so they're going for two and he makes the 
grab and adds two points to their score. The onside kick is a desperation play, but it's their only chance at this point to steal a position. Stealing ain't right, Glenn. It just ain't right. And it's first and ten. Running for a couple of yards. <laughs> and that'll be second and eight to go. <laughs> and that's how you get your buzz on in the NFL. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. First and ten. And he zings it in there for a nine yard completion. They are moving the ball now with authority. And that'll bring up second and one. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. And into the end zone for a touchdown! Once he got his hands on that pass, he was on to the races. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chick wearing a wig. And it's first and ten. into a hurry-up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all, Grim? Aren't we all? Whoa. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh. Pow! With the brain scrambler. Hey, no game to man. I can't. Get on. I have to get on. I got to get on now. Get on. Second down in a mile. One, a two, eight. He dropped it. If he does that again, they'll drop him. And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. That's a killer. It was right there, and then he dropped it. Ah, oh, scumbag is killing me in the fantasy league. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he put all of his foot into that one. 
Two minutes left in the game, and we'll be right back after I top off my drink. Grab me a scotch while you're off. And it's first and ten. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? The defense calls timeout. They must be trying to get on their QB's good side. And that'll be second down and four. And a hard run there picks up the first down. And that's two timeouts gone for the defense. But they've really got to get the ball back to their offense. But the offense is like 30 balls over there on the sideline just waiting for them. Why don't they just use them? Ask the ball boy. He doesn't do nothing. Oh, with the brain scrambler. And defense burns its last timeout. You can't take them into the locker room, so you might as well use them now. Why would you want to take a timeout into the locker room, Grim? That doesn't sound right. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. Oh, with the brutal hit. Second down and six. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Third and two. The Mutant Eaters devour the opposition and win the game. After a stomping like that, the opposition may be a permanent part of the field. More like a graveyard, Grim. There are body parts everywhere. And speaking of body parts, did I ever tell well, you... let's listen to the MVP. I'm sure he has something inspiring to say. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you...